Here I am going to be explaining the diagnostic algorithm for pulmonary TB. Well, what happens in this is, uh, if a presumptive TB patient comes to us, uh, there are two examinations, there's two screening tests that we are going to do, is the smear examination and the chest x-ray. <coughs> Once we do that, we have four possibilities, smear positive, CXR positive, smear positive, CXR negative, smear negative but CXR positive, smear negative, CXR negative, or both of them or either one of them not available. Okay, irrespective of whatever we do here or whatever results we get, we are going to send it for the CBNAT, okay, which has become compulsory according to the government of India. And once we send it for the CBNAT, in the CBNAT we are going to do the P we are going to do the screen what do you say the drug susceptibility testing using the pro programmatic management of drug resistant TB under high MDR settings. Okay, that we that's what that means we need high uh, degree of sensitivity for detecting an MDR patient or you know and then depending on the CBNAT findings whether we find MTB we can have a rifampicin sensitive indeterminate or resistant case in case of indeterminate repeat the sam repeat it on a second sputum sample again indeterminate go for the line probe assay okay in case if MTB is not detected or CBNAT result is not available, consider alternate diagnosis. If the clinical su suspicion is still high, we can go for clinically diagnosed TB. Otherwise, you can uh, consider an alternate diagnosis. Okay? And if it's a rifampicin resistant case, in this case, refer for management of rifampicin resistance to a nodal TB center. And uh, also, one thing here, whenever the spear turns out to be positive, it becomes a microbiologically confirmed TB case. Okay? And in case if you have a people living with HIV, it's now compulsory to check all TB patients for HIV and to screen all HIV patients for TB. So you are going to directly go for a CBNAT and then that's the thing.